Welcome to Lucid Mind Chemistry channel. In this video, I have compiled questions related to Boltzmann distribution curve and the effect of temperature, catalyst, energy of molecules, etc. on shape of curve. For similar topics and question timestamps, read video description. Question 11. The Boltzmann distribution curve for gaseous mixture of ethene and hydrogen is shown. Nickel is an effective catalyst for the reaction that occurs. How does the diagram appear if the same reaction mixture is at higher temperature? Now, higher temperature increases the average kinetic energy of molecules. So now more molecules have activation energy to convert into products. As area under the curve always remains constant, so therefore the curve will be like this. Part A, the curve is unchanged. This is incorrect because temperature changes the shape of curve. Catalyst does not change the shape of curve. B, the values of both Ea catalyzed and Ea decrease. This is incorrect because temperature does not have any effect on activation energy. It just increases the average kinetic energy of the molecules. C. The values of both Ea catalyzed and Ea increase. Again, this is incorrect because temperature has nothing to do with activation energy. D. The values of both Ea catalyzed and Ea remains the same. This is true because we are only changing the temperature. Answer is therefore D. Question 6. The diagram shows the Boltzmann energy distribution curves for molecules of sample of a gas at two different temperatures. Which letter on the axis represents the most probable energy for molecules of the same sample of gas at the lower temperature? So lower temperature actually means the number of molecules will have lower energy. Now in Boltzmann distribution we have y axis and x axis x-axis actually shows the energy of molecules. And y-axis shows the number of molecules. Now when the temperature will be lower, it means that the energy of molecules will be less. So it will be C rather than D. And when the energy is C, it means that the number of molecules with lower energy are greater in number as compared to the number of molecules having higher energy. So the only option is C. Boltzmann distribution is shown for a sample of gas at initial temperature T1. The sample of gas was heated to temperature T2. What is the correct distribution for the higher temperature T2? This question is about the Boltzmann distribution of energies. We can see that this curve shows the distribution of energy for temperature T1. When the temperature is increased, what will happen to this curve? So you have to remember a few points. First is that the area under the curve always remains constant. As we are not increasing or decreasing the number of molecules, we are just increasing the average molecular energy. When the gas is heated, the average molecular energy of the molecules will increase. So this hump will move in forward direction. So we can say that the height of the hump decreases and the height of this part of the curve will increase at higher temperature. Let's move towards the options. In A, they have given the same curve as given in the question. So there is no change in the curve. So therefore, A is not the possible answer. It is incorrect. For B, you can see that hump of the curve has decreased and this part of the curve has increased. Also, the area under the curve remains constant. Now, more molecules have larger energy as compared to the curve given in the previous temperature. So this could be the possible option. 
and see we can see that the curve is good but the area under the curve has also increased which is not possible so therefore c is incorrect for d we can see that the curve has moved backwards so this is for decrease in temperature not increase in temperature so therefore this is also incorrect so the only correct option is b Question number one, the temperature of a sample of an inert gas is increased. What effect does this have on the number of molecules with the most probable energy and on the number of molecules with high energy? We can solve this question by using Boltzmann distribution. In Boltzmann distribution, the curve is drawn like this. On y-axis, we have number of molecules. And on x-axis, we have energy of molecules. At normal temperature, the curve is like this. Now this curve has two parts. One is this one. This one shows the number of molecules with most probable energy. And second portion is this one which shows the number of molecules with high energy. When the temperature is increased what happens that as the area under the curve is constant so this curve will move in the right direction. Now we can see that the number of molecules with most probable energy have decreased and the number of molecules having high energy have increased. So therefore in the first part we have decrease and in the second part we are going to show increase. The answer is therefore B. The Boltzmann distribution of molecular energies in a sample of aqueous hydrogen peroxide at room temperature is shown. This is the diagram. Which diagram shows the Boltzmann distribution of molecular energies of aqueous hydrogen peroxide maintained at room temperature when a catalyst manganese 4 oxide is added? In this diagram, we can see that on x axis we have molecular energy E, on y axis we have the proportion of molecules with energy E, and we have the shaded region which shows the molecules with sufficient energy to react. This shaded region actually shows the activation energy of the molecules. So the molecules present in this shaded region can easily convert into products because they have sufficient activation energy. Now what happens when a catalyst is added? Catalyst actually reduces activation energy. Catalyst does not have any effect on average molecular energies. So therefore there is no change in shape of the curve. The curve shape only changes when, whenever there is a temperature change. In this question, the temperature is kept constant, so only we can see that the activation energy will change. Let's look at the options. We have four options here, A, B, C, and D. In A and B, we can see that the shape of the curve does not change, while in C and D, we can see that the curve has shifted in the forward direction. So in C and D, there is also a temperature change involved, so therefore, they are not the answer. Now let's compare A and B with the question. As we can see that the shape of the curve of A is same and the shape of the curve of B is also same. In A the activation energy has not changed it is at the same place as there was in the question. While in B we can see that now activation energy has decreased. 
it means that now more molecules will be easily converted into the product as the activation energy has decreased so therefore we can see that the correct option is b Question 34. The diagram shows the Boltzmann distribution of molecular energies in one mole of a gas at two temperatures T1 and T2. One curve is for T1, second curve is for T2. Which statements are correct? Number 1. The shaded area represents the proportion of molecules with energies between E1 and E2 at temperature T2. As we can see that this is the graph for T2 and this is the energy change that is given. Now this is the proportion of molecule that represents this much energy. So this is true statement. 2. No particles have zero energy at either temperature. This is true because we have gases and gases particles do not have zero energy. 3. T2 is a higher temperature than T1. As we can see in the diagram that in T2 more number of molecules have higher molecular energy as compared to T1. So therefore, the temperature T2 is higher. As all three options are correct, the answer is A. Question 1. The diagram shows the Boltzmann distribution of energies in a gas. The gas undergoes a reaction with an activation energy Ea. The peak of distribution is labeled P. On y-axis, we have the proportion of molecules with energy E, while on x-axis, we have molecular energy represented by E. Ea is the activation energy of the molecules and this shaded region, it represents those molecules that can be converted into product. If the same reaction is carried out in the presence of a catalyst, which statement is correct? Now we know that catalyst only reduces activation energy by providing alternate pathway. Catalyst has no effect on the average energy of the molecules. So therefore the area under the curve will remain same. Also the shape of the peak will remain same. Only the activation energy will move backward now more number of molecules will be converted into product so activation energy will move backwards part a the peak p is at lower height and the position of ea moves to the left this is incorrect because peak p does not change b the peak p is at lower height again this is incorrect because peak p does not change Part C, the peak P remains at the same height, this is correct, and the position of activation energy moves to the left. As we have seen that the catalyst reduces activation energy, so it will move to left. So C seems to be correct option. D, the peak P remains at the same height, and the position of activation energy moves to the right. This is incorrect because activation energy is decreased, it is not increased by a catalyst. The correct answer is therefore C. Question number one. The diagram shows a Boltzmann distribution of the energies of gaseous molecules and activation energy of a reaction with and without a catalyst. This is the diagram. On y-axis we have proportion of molecules with energy E. On x-axis, we have two activation energies. One is activation energy 1 and second is the activation energy 2. Which statement about this distribution curve is correct? A. If the temperature of the gas is increased, the maximum of the curve becomes higher. As we know that in Boltzmann distribution of energies, the area under the curve always remains constant. So therefore, whenever temperature is increased, the average molecular energy increases. So this hump will come downwards and this will go upwards. At higher temperature, the graph would be like this.
so this is incorrect. B. If the temperature of the gas is increased, the maximum of the curve moves to the left. As we have seen in this diagram that the curve has moved a little bit towards the right side on increasing the temperature. When the temperature is decreased, then the curve will move to the left side and the hump will become higher. Like this. So B is also incorrect. C. The fraction of molecules that react in the presence of a catalyst is shown by these lines. Let's look into the diagram. We have EA2 and EA1. Now we know that whenever a catalyst is added, the activation energy is reduced. So therefore EA1 is with catalyst. And EA2 is the activation energy without catalyst. Now we can see in the diagram that without catalyst, this much number of molecules can convert into products easily. But when the catalyst is added, then the activation energy is reduced and now this much molecules will be converted into product. So therefore with catalyst, it is not just this one. Actually, both of them will be converted into product. So it should be this and these both. So therefore, option C is also incorrect. Indeed, the fraction of molecules that react in the absence of catalyst is shown by this one. Yes, this one was without catalyst. So D is correct option. So therefore, answer is D. Thanks for watching. If this was useful, please do like, subscribe and share.